Hello everyone, I am Dr. Madhushankar, Hypertension and Kidney Specialist at Sri Ramakrishna Hospital, Coimbatore. Welcome to my YouTube channel, Ask Dr. Madhu. For the last one year, we have been discussing a lot about COVID-19, which is an infection caused by novel coronavirus, starting from its origin to the treatment options. We are convinced that vaccination is an effective strategy to protect ourselves and to prevent the chain of transmission. And since like six to nine months, we have been eagerly awaiting for the same. Now that the government has started a vaccination drive, it is natural that we have some questions and doubts. Let us deal with some of the frequent doubts that arise in our minds. First of all, doctor, is this vaccination mandatory? No, no vaccination is mandatory or compulsory, but it is highly advised that you go for this vaccination unless your doctor advises you not to because vaccination increases your immunity against the particular infection virus in this case and it also prevents transmission from you to others. So it is highly advised that you go for the same. So do I have an option doctor? Yes, currently we have two vaccines in India. Covaxin, which is an indigenous Indian made vaccine and Covishield, which is made by a scientist in United Kingdom along with AstraZeneca. What you will be given will depend upon what is available in your state and your institution. Next comes the question, who all can take, who all are advised not to take. So the most common doubts that we face is, doctor, I just had a COVID-19 infection. So should I take this vaccine? Yes, even though theoretically you are protected from the infection, you can take this vaccine two weeks after you have recovered from the infection. Further boosting immune system helps you in many ways. It is not harmful. So after recovering from a COVID-19 infection, you can and you should take this vaccination. Other high risk groups such as those who have a kidney failure, liver failure, heart failure, those whose immune system that is the disease fighting capacity is already poor like diabetics who have had a heart or liver or a kidney transplant and are on medications for the same. Those who have had cancer and are on the medications are also advised to go for this vaccination as per schedule. So this vaccine is currently not recommended for those who are allergic to this vaccine or any of the component of this vaccine. Pregnant women, lactating mothers and children less than 18 years of age because of the lack of clinical data. What is the schedule? The original schedule consists of two injections each is about 0.5 ml dosage given as an intramuscular injection in the shoulder. The first dose is followed by second dose four weeks later. So four weeks after taking the second dose, you are expected to develop a protective antibody and you are protected from the infection, which means right from the second dose till around eight weeks later, there is a good chance that you might still get an infection. So during this window period of eight weeks and even later, please follow all social precautions. Wash your hands as and when necessary, apply sanitizers, put a mask on, avoid going to crowded or unnecessary places, right? What are the adverse effects, doctor? If I take vaccine, what all adverse effects can I expect? After an vaccination, the most common effects that we face are a little febrile sensation, feeling of fever, pain at the injection site, a small swelling at the injection site. A few people can develop some lymph node swellings, cough, abdominal pain, loose tools, but loss of life, central nervous system manifestations like meningitis, myelitis are very, very rare. Both the vaccines have been properly studied and approved by the Drug Controller General of India so that it is safe to be administered in all those clinical subjects which I just explained. After this vaccine, doctor, am I absolutely protected? The protection or the efficacy of vaccine ranges between 60 to 70 percent. But any protection more than 50 percent is good enough. This is based on current clinical data. As we have more and more data, the efficacy may be more. So the government of India has taken a massive vaccination drive. All that you have to do is register yourself at the government website with a valid photo identity card. Wait for your call. What is being given to healthcare workers now will be given to frontline workers followed by those 50 years of age or more and then those 50 years less with high risk group. Once your turn comes, you will be notified. Go to your vaccination center with the same photo identity card. Get two doses of vaccine at pre-specified intervals. Throughout the period and even after that, 
please follow all prescribed universal precautionary measures don't drop your guard remember vaccination is the key strategy by which india could eradicate polio virus such is the strategy that we are following for covid 19 be a part of this vaccination tree help yourself and help the community at large for any further doubts and comments please post your comments in the section i shall be happy to answer thank you